Puducherry government to launch housing scheme worth 172 rupees crore for poor Puducherry Chief Minister V. Narayanasamy informed the Assembly that a golden chariot at a cost of 4.76 crore rupees was being readied for the famous Darbarani Aswara Temple, which has a separate shrine of Lord Sanaswara in Tirunelar in Karagal region. Puducherry, the Puducherry government today said it would soon launch a housing scheme worth 172 crore rupees for the poor in the Union territory. Replying to the debate on the demand for grants for housing and other departments in the Assembly, Minister of Health and Tourism Malati Krishna Rao said the centre had earmarked 172 crore rupees for the scheme. Detailing various proposals of the housing department, he said, this is the first time such a huge amount has been earmarked by the Center for Housing. He said efforts were made to provide grants to the housing board to meet its financial commitments, but claimed the territorial LT Governor Kiran Betty did not clear the file sent to her in this connection. The minister further said the government was now mulling disposing of some properties of the board to meet its commitments. Welfare Minister M. Kandasamy, who presented the replies related to the Department of Science, Technology and Environment, said the government had banned plastic products below 50 microns. Alternative materials, which are degradable, would be produced through the self-help groups to make the Union territory plastic-free, he said. Earlier, when a plea was made by the MLAs seeking a review of the tax structure, Minister for Public Works A. Namasavayam said property tax would be reduced by 25%. Chief Minister V. Narayanasamy informed the Assembly that a golden chariot at a cost of 4.76 crore rupees was being readied for the famous Darbarani Aswara Temple, which has a separate shrine of Lord Sanaswara in Tirunelar in Karagal region. Department of Hindu Religious Institutions, which had 243 temples under its control, would soon document their historical and cultural features, he noted. On the sensational ATM fraud case, Narayana Sami lauded the CB Sid police for its excellent investigation in the case and said 16 people including the prime accused Chandruji have been arrested. The accused had cloned the ATM cards using the CVV data of credit and debit cards. A total of 140 people, mostly from the USA, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Sweden and Italy, were duped of several crores of rupees by the gang, police had said. Later, the House passed by voice vote funds for PWD and animal husbandry departments among others, the Straits Timesman whose body odor diverted plane has deep Straits Times undo sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may like Amazon e-commerce workshop attend $297 e-commerce training. For free, register now, Amazon e-commerce workshop under Bank Bazaar. Sigjal Fatame Retail Asia Gift Vouchers, formerly Robinson's Gift Vouchers worth up to $100 on credit card application approval. Apply now, Bank Bazaar. Segundo sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links.